What's happening, sports fans? How you doing? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. Good Monday to you. And we are 48 hours removed from Colorado taking it on the chin from Nebraska this past Saturday. So uh, now everyone wants to know what's next with this team. What adjustments can be made? We're going to talk about that in this segment. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, click that follow button. Colorado lost 28 to 10 on the road in Nebraska and the game wasn't even close in my opinion uh, it was one of the more anticipated matchups that I wanted to watch on this past Saturday we had a couple of them Texas and Michigan definitely was one but this one I just wanted to see where has this program where is it going second year what's next we all knew the problems we all knew they started 3-0 last year and everybody was happy i was one of the ones that's like okay cool i think this program is on its way well the, on saturday it, it showed that they still got a long way to go well coach prime in his post game presser after the colorado uh and nebraska game he was still sound optimistic about this team and the way it can improve here's a little bit uh audio from that press conference take a listen but overall, I'm certainly not happy with the outcome, but I'm, <laughs> the positive things, uh, the way we competed in the second half, we had no give up, no quit in us whatsoever. We know we got to do a better job offensively on protection, um, as well as trying to figure out how to establish a run game and be consistent with that. Mm. I'm just excited. I mean, I got to find, you got to understand when you're in a situation like this, you got to find something to hold on to that you can encourage your team. And I'm truly excited about the second half of football that we played. Um, you would have thought offensively would have came in here and, and did half of what we did uh, uh, a week ago and it would have been a better contest, but it didn't. They had the advantage the whole entire game. Again, that was some audio from Coach Prime, a little bit of his press conference after the 2018 loss to Nebraska. And here's some of the numbers from that game. Shadur Sanders was 23 of 38, 244 yards, a TD and an interception. Travis Hunter caught 10 balls for 110 yards. And here's some bad numbers from that game. Travis, uh, uh, the 16 yards rushing, excuse me. They only mustered 16 yards rushing. Uh, they only had 260 total yards of offense. They had nine penalties, two turnovers. The Nebraska D harassed Shadua Sanders all game. They ended up with six sacks and, and knocked him down plenty more times. Uh, also, the Nebraska offense ran the ball on that defense of Colorado. They got 149 yards on the ground. Colorado D wasn't able to get one sack on that freshman quarterback, uh, Dylan Raioli. Uh, and those numbers just speaks to me that this team has a long way to go. Quite frankly, the offensive line is at this point, I think if it doesn't improve, Shadur Sanders won't make it <laughs> through the season. I, I just think he eventually he's going to get hurt. Uh, they don't have a run game at all. Uh, they got the running back from Ohio State that transferred in. Dalen Hayden, uh, but they also had two running backs that transferred out. So now you're wondering, uh, did they know something that a lot of us didn't? Did they know that this offense is mo mostly Shadur throwing the football all around the field? And uh, I don't know if they could sustain. I don't know if this team could win with just throwing the football. Eventually, they're going to have to find a running game. That offensive line is definitely going to have to protect Shadur Sanders better. Defensively, uh, they got to get some pass rush. They got to get a pass rush. Uh, they got to play the run. Uh, the back end of, of the Colorado defense is average outside of Travis Hunter. Um, by the way, Shiloh Sanders, I believe, broke his forearm, uh, who starts at safety. So he's probably not going to be available for <laughs> weeks. So even if he be able to come back. So... Again, my thoughts, I'm a, I'm a Coach Prime fan again, but I'm also, my eyes ain't lying to me. What I'm seeing, the product that they put on the field, and I know it's just week two, uh, they, got, they got a long way to go. If this team wins five games, I would be surprised because they got a tough schedule coming up. Now, they, they got Colorado State. One of their rivalries, uh, they travel to them next week. Uh, but then after that, they, they got some Big 12 teams that they're going to meet up with. And 
I, I just don't know. Uh, I, again, I'm rooting for Coach Prime and his team, but my eyes ain't lying to me. What I'm seeing on the field, again, it's just week two, you know, but that offensive line is 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 not good at all. Again, Shadir Sanders is gonna get he's gonna get hurt back there if they don't protect better. So, I'd like to know you you guys thoughts on this Colorado team. Do you think this team has any chance at all of winning at least five games? And what do you think needs to be fixed? What can be done to fix this thing? I'd like to know your thoughts on that. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and click that follow button. I am Kendrick, the sports guy. We will see you on the other side and on the next report. I am out. Peace.